had a bit of a cliffhanger last episode. Sanosuke versus Kenshin. Now, Sanosuke's entire thing is being durable. Even though he has a cool weapon, the Zambato, at the end of the day, his entire thing is being durable. So, okay. You tell me this is like an unstoppable force meet an immovable object? I just don't think Kenshin's gonna lose, right? Bro has the fucking Hiten Mitsurugiryu style or whatever. He's super fast. He's never broken a sweat during fighting yet. But you never know. This guy seems pretty OP. Let's begin today's reaction. I love how the the big bro and the guy that fucking tried to scam us is still watching from the stands. Like, like how are you just standing here in peace when you try to ruin their lives? Like, how? And like, you want yeah, it's not gonna win. He's absolutely right. What do you got? The gun, but we took the gun away. Yaiko! Clap them up right now! How? They shouldn't be allowed to just be like standing beside us watching this fight! He talks pretty big, but can he deliver? We'll see. <laughs> The thing about this is that it's such a big weapon, it takes so much time to swing it, right? But Kenshin's entire thing is speed. So isn't he just his natural counter? Well, you could argue because he's so durable, Kenshin's attack won't impact him, but I doubt that. Multiple blows to the same spot. <laughs> One attack won't work, therefore, <laughs> consecutive attack! <laughs> I love how she was like, oh my god, so brilliant! <laughs> yeah. Oh, named attack? Yeah, it's so slow and heavy, right? He's getting wiped, man. Okay. Even he's realizing. If he starts monologuing like this, like it's over. Don't give up, bro. I want to see a cool fight, though. Bro, did an even actor act one? That was such a poetic way of dissing him, bro. It was not an act two. That was just an epilogue. Holy shit, we're still in tutorial mode, man. Probably from the flashback we saw last episode, right? Okay, you know the rule of law. Whoever has the first flashback about their past loses. <laughs> Sometimes flashbacks work, you know, in a way to like power up and motivate the person having the flashback, but quite often <laughs> flashbacks happen to kind of give them closure. That was scary right there. There's the nationalists that's, you know, still holding the, the honor of Japan versus the more Western influences that's taking over, right? Yeah. Maybe Captain would want Sanosuke to join Kenshin, you know, and embark on a new era. Probably be able to have a surname. That's why he took on his surname, Sagara, right? Ah, oh, they're not family per se, blood related, but they are family in the sense that he adopted his name. Are we getting gaslit? The government is labeling us as criminals. What? Land tax having order. There's some politics involved, and basically, we're being used as scapegoats, I think. They're actually gonna burn him in a cross? No. Firing range? Holy shit, it's beheaded. And like, he didn't do anything wrong, but he just accepted his fate of being scapegoated. Who the fuck are these trash people? Uh -oh. <laughs> the flashback might have been used as a motivation factor for him. Act 3, maybe? Damn, but I feel like this anger and his motivation is kind of misdirected. Like, what did Kenshin really do? You know? He didn't land a blow and fucking grazed this fucking weapon. 
Yeah, that, that is true. He's got that fighting spirit, though. I just have a feeling those two fucking shitty... Bro oh, no. Another gun, bro! Nah, 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 nah. We probably cut the bullet, right? We probably cut the bullet, right? Come on. Come on, now. This... From episode one, we kept him around. I thought they're going to be kind of like joke characters, but this motherfucker stole. He's shooting at Kenshin. Actually cut his head off. Cut his fucking off. Good. Yeah, I bet we cut... The hilt? I want to believe that wasn't luck, but actual skill. He just kind of directed right there. Yeah. Nah, bro. I... Yo, use the Zamba to clap his... No, you wouldn't. You fucking trash. Oh my God. How could... I thought they were such trash in episode one. And I thought they were done. And maybe they're being brought back as actual just like clown characters for like comic comedic gags. But holy shit. They deserve to die, dude. Kenshin should go back to Batasai mode. Cut his fucking head off. Fuck the atonement, dude. Yaiko, fucking hit him in the balls. Oh, the Zamba to Damn, he threw that like a spear. Cut his head, bro. Just cut his head. He's got two guns. Where did he get another gun from? Dude, I think we... Did you see that? For a frame, we saw his fucking underwear. More. More. Just kill him. I know that's not... Uh, that's against his moral code, right? Like, Kenshin's entire thing is trying to change to be a different man, but... My God, can someone just fucking kill these dudes? But Kenshin's not really that kind of person anymore. You shouldn't be directing that hatred. He just flipped the blade. And transition scene. Okay, there it is. And we're back. <laughs> Big AoE attack. Centripetal force. This is an actual thing I learned from the high school physics, man. Gravitational, you know, force again goes towards the center. Centripetal force that goes like this. So all the forces coming inwards and shit. And then there's like tangential, I don't know, force being applied at each angle. I don't know. Damn. Is he using the other side of the blade, though? He did! Damn, but if the Zambato is cut, it's just over, right? Don't kill him, though. That, use, use the other side of the blade. Come on. Okay. He switched again. Oh! As durable as he is, there's no way he gets up from this, right? He's not even falling! Are you conscious? Dude, what? You... I... Damn. You can really respect the resilience, the mental fortitude, the willpower. I love characters like this. We need one of these guys in our team, man. Please join us. Just hit his legs. Just, just fucking hit his legs and make him fall. Or punch him. Yeah, like, w this shouldn't be directed at Kenshin. Talk no jutsu time, dude. Now it's time for Kenshin to do some main character speech. Yeah, my man left that shit a long time ago. He's just wandering. I wonder how I feel about that. He's like, oh, oh, you weren't an imperialist? Oh, shit, my bad, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Yaiko's not level to fight, but maybe at this state, maybe, yeah. Oh, come on, you know this is a man you have to follow. 
Hmm. He's finally saying it though, you know, his entire goals and why he's changed as a person. It is Path of Atonement. I think that reached him. Look at his eyes. In fact, he's even being reminded of his captain. There's no way he doesn't join us. He's gotta join us, gotta be the next team member. Man, <laughs> this might have been a fight, but this is more of like a therapy session for Sanosuke, man. Kenshin literally just fixed his entire life up and gave him a new purpose. Beef hot pot. Hot pot again? This is how this arc started. Maybe Sanosuke will be there again. Sanosuke? Uh -huh. Who are these dudes? Are they the guys that try to pick a fight? <laughs> this is how the arc started. And he's all wrapped up in bandages right now, right? I thought it'd take him three months to recover. This is just the next day, right? What? Now that I'm 19. Honestly, pretty reasonable. Because like usually in like anime, like 14 year olds are built like Sanosuke, but even more jacked, you know? <laughs> Shadowing you. Shadowing? So you're joining, right? That just means more free rent. <laughs> oh, true. He doesn't have a Zambat. His weapon is gone. Wonder what he'll use to fight from here out. Will he pick up the sword like a samurai sword? Like, I don't know, Yaiko? I love how he just destroyed the entire restaurant property, the doors kicked off and just walks away. He probably didn't even pay the bills. The people in the restaurant's like watching him like, what the fuck, bro? They didn't pay the bills, right? <laughs> Not again! Dude, it's gotten to a point she even knows his name now. I think he's a good guy, though. post credit scene. Hmm. <laughs> This guy seems like a proper villain, right? Oh. He has eye technique? What do you mean? I thought this anime would be more grounded in reasonable physics of attacks, but he just uses eye technique and paralyzed them. Alright. Next villain, though. Thanosuke, there is no shame in losing to Kenshin. My man is the main character. In fact, losing to him is an honor. In my opinion, we got to see a little bit more above Kenshin's name skills. He has, like, the jumping attack. Now he has, like, the consecutive attacks. Bro, I swear to God, if those two shitty brothers come back again, oh my God. I have a feeling they will because they're still not dead yet. What are they doing? Ah, they have... The bro had three guns at the end, right? Like... Whatever. I, I don't think they're an actual threat. There's no way the author would bring them back to be an actual threat, right? But at the end there, that seems like an actual threat. Dude uses eye technique to make him paralyzed. Now, maybe it was just a visual effect. We saw his eyes, but maybe he threw like, I don't know, poison dart or some shit and like tranquilized them. Beats me, but hey, new villain. Maybe an actual arc we'll be forming up to. We'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.